Darwin presented the evidence of this idea in the year 1859. The outcry that it caused has never been quiet. But why? Our closest relatives, the chimpanzees, they generally behave inappropriately in public. There is an understandable need to keep distance from them. My name is Norman Arteaga. I am 24 years old and I've been studying at Focus around one year. to have a central premise that we were created apart from all other animals. But what about our kinship with the trees? In the oak's DNA, we can find the instructions how to metabolize the sugar. And by making a comparison with the human DNA, we can find something interesting. We are long lost cousins. occurs with the trees, but also with butterflies, with grey wolves, with bacteria, and with all other animals. reveals that all life on earth is just one. Darwin discovered the true mechanism of evolution. The belief was that the complexity and variety of all life must be the work of an intelligent designer who created each of these million species. The living beings are too complicated, it was said, to be the result of an evolution without direction. There are many millions of living species that we don't know of plants and animals. This is because a little change in the genetic code generates a variation from species to species. The natural selection has an amazing power. It can disguise an animal as a plant, tricking the predators into looking for food elsewhere. Or it can disguise a plant as an animal, like the orchid, which develop some flowers, tricking the real wasp to be pollinated. the genetic instructions talking about for the most basic vital instructions the sugar digestion for example we can find something interesting we and all the species are almost identical this is because this vital functions has evolved before that all species were separated from each other because these functions are so basic to life. Another example of the power of the natural selection and evolution is the human eye, the masterpiece of complexity, the device ever created by human intelligence. argued the human eye cannot be the result 
of a mindless evolution. To know the truth, we should travel to a world before eyes existed. It all started with the microscopic copying error in the DNA of a bacteria. This mutation provided a protein molecule which could absorb the sunlight. The mutations continued randomly, as always happened. Those bacteria which could make a difference between light and dark had a strong advantage over those which couldn't do because the ultraviolet light made a big damage in DNA. With the time, those photosensitive proteins had concentrated at a pigment point that allowed it to find a light and all those bacteria which have, had developed this mutation survived over those which hadn't developed this mutation. Over thousand generations, the natural selection sculpted the egg, but the new splendid future was the lens. It provided as much brilliance as sharp focus. Now the fish could see in high definition. It was a big advantage over those fishes which couldn't see in high definition. We think that our eyes are perfect, but our eyes evolved to see water. When our amphibious ancestors left the water. Our eyes were terrible to see in air. Our vision has never been good since. Even we can see that our eyes have some problems with the environment. Problems that some animals don't have. Because here we can see some results of the evolution in eyes evolution that happened in those animals to be able to survive in their environments. is just a theory, as if it were merely an opinion. But evolution, just as gravity theory, is a scientific fact. Evolution actually happened. And to accept our kinship with all life forms, it's not only concrete science, but also a heightened spiritual experience. The environment selects those few mutations that enhance survival, resulting in a series of slow transformations from one life form into another, the region of a new species, Carl Sagan.